Patients with brainstem strokes or degenerative disorders such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or ALS can develop locked-in syndrome. They have normal cognition but are unable to move or speak owing to the loss of voluntary muscle control. Patients with locked-in syndrome can sometimes communicate using a letter board or a camera that tracks eye movements to allow the selection of items on a computer screen, but often can only answer closed-ended questions by blinking their eyes. The ability to communicate has been associated with higher quality of life, but existing systems are very limiting, and certain light conditions make eye tracking difficult. In this brief report, investigators present the case of a 58-year-old woman with late-stage ALS and locked-in syndrome who received a brain implant that allows her to independently communicate using typing software. Subdural electrode strips were placed over the hand region of the left motor cortex to detect the neuroelectrical signals generated when the patient tries to move her right hand. The electrodes are connected to a subcutaneously placed amplifier and transmitter in the left thoracic region that transmits signals wirelessly to a tablet device. The tablet separates activated brain signal from background electrical activity to translate cortical signals into control signals for several computer tasks. The algorithm and parameters of the decoding software were tested and optimized as the patient practiced activating her motor cortex, learning to regulate the magnitude and timing of the brain signal. The patient performed 44 spelling runs for training and was able to type at the equivalent of two letters per minute with nearly 90% accuracy. Seven months after electrode implantation, she used the implanted brain computer system at home for 32 days and for 86 minutes per day on average. Thus, the implanted brain computer system shows that autonomous communication is possible for a patient with ALS and the locked-in syndrome. The full report is available at NEJM.org.